Well, this is Todd. He's in law school, and I love him. My parents don't like him because of his job, but I think he's amazing. She's messy, unorganized, disrespectful, and above all, I can't stand her fiance, Todd. Yeah, yeah. Hello, and welcome to the Dysfunctional Family Show. Today, we have the Bruti family. Bit of an odd family, but uh, then again, we don't have an odd family. And now we are here with Dave and Betty. All right, well, so I'm gonna hop right into this, guys, and just start asking you questions about your daughter. Is that all right? You said that she's going to college, and that's, that's good. She's continuing her education, correct? Oh, well, uh, you know, she's 13, living at home, going to college, and well... No, 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 hon. Um, 13-year-olds don't go to college. She is 17. <laughs> Well, first of all, guys, kids go to college whenever they're 18 and up, but second of all, like, more importantly, you don't know the age of your only daughter? No, we do not know the age of our daughter. What do I look like, a calendar? That's right. Ever since she asked him for a telescope, we saw counting. What do they call it? Hubbard? Hoovered? No, no, honey. It's called Country High. Dang, damn it, Debbie. Now you look making us look bad on national television. <laughs> God dang it, woman. Okay. Okay. Before, uh, before we have a fight break out, how about we try to get Bobby on this show? Well, uh, where's, where's Bobby? Somebody find Bobby? Set crew? Oh my God. Set crew? Oh, hello, Bobby. Come here, take a seat. Nice to meet you. Of course. Where's your man? Uh, that's not necessary. Just sit down. Please. There she is, the bad seed. That's right. All right, dear. Well, nice to have you on the show, Bobby. Now, um, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Eh. Well, I mean, considering that I've been sitting here with your family for a while, Excuse me? Warning. So, what does he study? He's a law student. She's dating a man who's got no future. No, I'm dating a man who's going to have a future. Don't talk back to your daddy like that. Wow, well, it seems like your parents really seem to disapprove of your boyfriend, um, what's his face? Todd. Todd. Todd, Todd yes. How is the situation, um, at, at home and living with your parents? Well, actually, I live in the dorm. You see? She's living by herself. Living on the streets, probably doing who knows what. So you need streets that prostituting. I told you guys, I already have a boyfriend. I don't even live with him. See, he's not good enough for our daughter. I mean, where is being a lawyer gonna get you one life? A broken arm of my daughter gonna be on them streets. Actually, mister, for your information, lawyers make a lot of money. I mean, is it so bad that, you know, your stepson is trying to pursue a white collar job? What's a white collar? You know, it's that thing you put on a dog when it got pleased. Um, well, actually, that's incorrect, frankly. It's what? a white collar job as opposed to a blue collar job. My goodness, he wears a dog leash? A white collar job is a stereotypical name for business. This guy's gonna be wearing a dog collar for a job? Um, no, no, guys, this all seems to be going over your head. If we can maybe slow down a bit for them, Bobby, then maybe we can help them get the point. Well, that's outrageous. How is someone wearing a dog collar for a job going to provide a stable life? Exactly. What other job profession would give me a stable life? Do I look like a psychic? You see, honey, what he's trying to say is that you need to find a man who's good with his hands, like a dog. Yeah, like uh, a plumber or something. Oh, yes, I'm sure that he's quite excellent with his hands, as, as you are as well, I'm sure. Exactly. Derek Nambit, why do you keep using all these hypothesis languages? Okay, well, you know, how about we get the boyfriend in here? Um, talk? What's his face? Talk? Yes, talk. Talk! Do it! <laughs> all right, it's Todd. Hello, Todd. How are you feeling today? 
fine, actually. Nobody cares what you think, Todd. Look, okay. I know you don't like me, but maybe if, you know... Are you sassing me, boy? Don't sass my husband! There's hostility in the family. Get him! 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 I killed him! I said sit I'll down! Kill him. All of you, calm down! I actually want to pass things up between the two of you. Oh, I kill you! Who do you think you are? Jesus You're nobody! Christ. You're nobody! Yeah, dad, You're not just my down. daughter! Dad's right, Debbie. What did I just say dad's about right. keeping calm? Don't listen God's to sake! Him. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. You did the right thing. God, are, you did the right thing. Are you I'm crying? gonna go hide of this. No, no. I can't even handle this right now. Bobby, Bobby, wait. It was just my allergies, I swear. Wait, hey, 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 no. Get you him, Chris, get him! Get him! Guys, I guess that's it for the show. Uh, we can just go next week.